Hi, I'm going to show you how easy it is to create scenes for Morpha using the scene design website at www.morpha.com. The first thing you need to do is to log in up the top right. Then in the bottom left click create a scene. This will take you to the scene design wizard which is a very simple way of getting started with scenes quite quickly. But what we're going to do is we're going to click built in which allows you to choose from one of Morphi's many built in scenes which are very very customizable. So this first page shows you all the scenes that you can choose from. I'm going to just use this one. You're then taken to a page with a load of colour schemes. These are different colours, textures, types of background that you can choose for your scene. I'm going to go right to the end where there are a load of landscapes. Now because this scene has shapes in it, you're given the choice of which ones to use. So you can you can go through and you can choose various different things. But actually we're just going to stick with the cube, I think. So then we can add things over the top of it. This is for instance the image in the top left of the screen there, or you can add text as well. But again for this we're, we're not actually going to add anything yet. Then we click next, we finish and we save it. And when we, when we click save, we're going to get to a page where we can change an awful lot more about the scene. So click edit scene down the bottom right. And you're given this big list of options. So as we're doing the Union Jack, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to change the background texture. So click upload. Then in this window, I'm going to choose the British flag, but a faded one. So now it's showing the British flag pasted on each corner of the cube in the background. This actually isn't really what we want, so we're just going to choose to have a flat image there. Now the colour in the foreground looks a bit wrong, but we can easily change that by just clicking on foreground texture and choosing from one of the many available textures. These are reflected in the shape, so if you get one that's roughly the right colour, it'll make it look like a um, like a fully shaded shape. So now we've got something that might make a reasonable scene, but we might also want to fade the edges of it a bit, and we can do this by adding a layer in front of everything. So this shows just a basic image, but then we can upload an image that actually contains a fading towards the edges. It isn't immediately obvious, but this is a transparent image in the middle. You can see it on the icon when it updates. All we have to do is to drag this out and make it larger, so that it fills the screen. And now we could call this our finished scene. If we click Add to More Fire Playlist, now we have a playlist containing just one scene. You can add new scenes by clicking Add Scene. These can be other custom scenes that you've created or built in more fire scenes, but we don't actually want to do that yet. We're just going to create a new one from scratch again. So we go back into the wizard, we choose built in scene again, and we choose a new scene type. This time we'll choose the cube field. Again, we can choose lots of different types of colour scheme, but this time we're going to choose one where it mirrors what's in the foreground in the background. Now we don't quite want to use a cube in the foreground, because my plan is to use the Union Jack. But what we want is a shape that's the exact same size as the flag image we have. So what I've done is I've made an image that is the same size as the flag, but it's white with a black border. So open this, upload it. 
So in a second we should end up with a rectangle that is shaped the correct way. So we'll click next, ignore the other steps, and yet again we save. Now we want to change the texture that's in the foreground to a flag texture. We only have our faded flag from last time, so we'll upload a new one. But this texture is actually reflected in the foreground, which we don't want. Instead, for foreground type, we click Solid Textured instead of Solid Reflected. But these still look a little bit 2D. We want them lit as well. So click Solid Textured Lit. We can then adjust the model size to make them a little bit bigger. And we have yet another scene. Click Add to Morphy Playlist. And this time, because we already have a playlist, we can choose to add it. Now let's add one more scene. We go through the same process again. And this time we'll choose a scene called Fractal Fly. Again, there are lots of different colour schemes. Each one of them does something different. Now let's edit again and let's change the foreground texture from the fractal into the Great Britain flag. The default for this is additive, which makes everything go very white, but if we set no, it instead pastes the image one on top of the other. Well, and this is another scene very quickly done. Add to playlist. Now we've got three scenes. We can quite happily use these in Morphire. Just click the Use in Morphire button. Now when we start it, it will show you in blue that it's automatically loaded in these three extra scenes. And we have a, a star here. And when we click it, it shows us some odd names because we haven't set a name for each one of our scenes. But when we click on them, we get each scene that we've designed. If we want to view only those scenes, then we can click the custom theme. When we go to each new scene, we see just that scene. As usual, we can add various effects on top of them, such as the negation. We can get rid of that and we can add the kaleidoscope effect. Or we can add any combination of them. Now the other thing you can do with the website is you can render to a video. So if we go back to our playlist, you can click render to video. Then all you have to do is upload an mp3 file, choose which special effects you want to, to apply and click continue and it will render a video for you that you can upload to YouTube which goes perfectly with the music that you've created. Thanks for watching.